Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome to Polybridge. This is a game I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. It used to be really popular a couple years ago, um, but it was on sale recently so I had to scoop it up and I thought we could have fun playing it. If you guys haven't seen the game, basically what you do is you build bridges and help people get through different obstacles and you complete objectives by m making different bridges. And like you have to work with a limited budget, so yeah. Overall, it's just a bridge building game, but it's super relaxing and it's actually a lot of fun. Or at least when I used to watch it, it looked like a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, it's just a super chilled out time, so I thought we could do a little one-off and have some fun with it. Howdy, welcome to the fascinating world of bridge building. It's nice to finally meet a helping hand. Well, I have two helping hands. How does that make you feel? Super nice? Cool. <laughs> I'm not much for words, so let's jump right in. First thing we need to build is a road over the water. Okay. Build a road by connecting two static joints. Uh, like that? Y yes. Oh, okay, I see. I, I see, I see, I see. Hit. There we go. Uh, click on start simulation, press space, or you shift and yeah, just press play. <laughs> Don't give me too many things to mess with because I will abuse the crap out of them. Where did the weight come from? Didn't it used to like show the stress on the joints? Maybe it did? I don't know. I was kind of transfixed on the weight at the bottom of the screen. But whatever. Either way, we did it. Which is good because this is a tutorial. So if I can't make it through the tutorial, then we're not going to get very far anyways. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. We just murdered a family. Did you guys set me up for failure? Was that, was that supposed to happen? Oh my god, is this what it feels like to be the bartender that hands like the poison drink to the villain in all like the James Bond movies? Is that even a thing that happens in James Bond movies? I don't know, I've never seen one. Either way, is that what it feels like? I feel like I just assisted a murder. Oh my god, they died because I was an idiot. Or I guess because I followed your lead. What are you trying to make me do there, Cowboy Joe? You trying to make me murder people? He's just like, no, that was not my intent at all. And then, like, someone comes up and hands him, like, a briefcase full of money for <laughs> murdering whoever was in the car. Anyways, I don't know how we got on this tangent. Oh, no, that vehicle was heavy. Let's add some support. Select wood. Or press two. No, I'll just select the wood. Support the bridge joint by connecting the static joint on the rock on the water. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Are we not going to make a triangle? Aren't, like, triangles the key to success in this game? I don't know. That's all I took away from all the playthroughs that I watched of this game. There we go. Didn't even break a sweat. Aw, oh, there's a little Billy Goat. Hi, Mr. Billy Goat. What you doing up there? You just hanging out? That's cool. Billy Goat, or Bighorn Sheep. I should probably say Bighorn Sheep. Are not that easy to come by in real life. So can I just, like, can we just put a pause on the game and I can go play with the Bighorn Sheep? No. I'm getting paid by the hour. Okay. Um, build a road by connecting two static joints. Hip boop. Hip boop. Hip boop. Select wood or press. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Here are the triangles. I was looking for these guys. Apparently, they're like the magic behind bridges. I don't know. Okay. Surf's up, Volkswagen. I didn't mean, I. they had surfboards on top of their van, so I thought they were going surfing, but they just decided to plop in the river instead. But they didn't really decide. Technically, I, I murdered another family is the point. Adjust the bridge, the position of the bridge joints with shift click to match the outline. Okay. Like that, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oops, we're over budget. Stop setting me up for failure, game. I don't appreciate this. The game is like showing me how many ways I can fail through the tutorial. I usually come to the tutorial for like guidance and they're just showing me failure. Oops, we're over budget. You can complete a bridge up to 50% over budget and come back later and try again. Let's start this out with a new design. Clear out the current bridge. Right click and drag. To select a, ah, wait. I have to get it perfect. Oh, I already messed up on that side. You know what? Close enough. Um, then press D. Uh, okay. An arch bridge is what we need. Inexpensive yet strong, it'll get the job done. 
Why didn't we just start off with this? I don't understand. I guess because they wanted me to, like, practice failure in a safe environment. But people still died. I still committed a homicide. And, like, I don't even begin- I don't even want to pretend I understand how going from, like, the structure we had before to making it curved changes this in any way. This better work. Yay, no more murder. But I don't understand how, like, just making it an arch bridge changed everything. I don't know. I'm not even gonna pretend to understand. It's not rocket science, but it may as well be, because I am not the sharpest tool in the shed, so... I don't know. I'm not an engineer either. Build a road by connecting- okay. Eh, I know this song and dance. Do we have to move both of those cars? There's a big horn sheep on both sides! Oh my goodness, this is so symmetrical. It's weird. Am I gonna make, like, a double bridge? A double bridge all the way across the river? Maybe. Possibly. Is that meme super outdated? Absolutely. Right click and drag to select the highlighted area, then copy by pressing C. But it doesn't have... it's not even, it's not symmetrical. Right? Cut. Whoa, that's weird. Flip the copied bridge by flipping horizontal and then vertical. Do I want to do that thing? What, it's not- ah, uh, there we go. But what about this side? Can I- please. Please, they need to be even. I guess they are kind of symmetrical. Okay, fine. Did that work? So far, so good. Yeah, there we go. Cool. A suspension bridge? Good Gandhi. Can we just stick with wooden bridges, please? Because no one is going to go over the hill and through the woods to grandmother's house if I'm building these bridges, especially if it's a suspension bridge. Select the tracing tool and connect the indicated stat Static joints. I know how to say words, just not very well. Aw, that's so cute. It's like a little noodle. I don't know why it reminds me of noodles, probably because I'm hungry. But that's really cool. I would kind of like change his shape depending on how long it is. Wait, woo, wait, woo. I whip my. What is this called? Suspension? I whip my suspension back and forth. I whip my suspension back and forth. It's not as catchy, but hey, it's still just as fun. Okay. Um, select cable. Got it. Now select the tracing fill tool. Good Gandhi. Okay. That was actually a lot easier than I expected. I was like, you want me to outline that again? Select rope. And do the thing. This is like coloring by numbers, basically for bridges. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Is the family gonna make it to grandma's? Yeah, they are. No unexpected failure for this one. That's cool, it's like made out of rocks. I don't know, that, like, I mean, it looks cool, but at the same time, obviously, that's man-made, because, I mean, unless you're doing hillbilly Jenga, that doesn't usually happen in nature. Even then, hillbilly Jenga is set up by people, too, so. Time to build a drawbridge. The red outline in the middle shows where the ship is going through. I gotta deal with ships, too? Holy ship! I don't know, I think it's funny. Do y'all remember, this may be after, or rather before some people's time, but there was like a Kmart commercial that came out a while ago where they were just like, I just shipped my naughty! I just shipped my drawers! I just shipped my bed! And oh my god, I don't know why, but like, no matter how many times I saw that commercial, it was always hilarious. Anyways, just wanted to put that out there. Uh, select wood or press the two key. And do this rigmarole. Got it. Select the hydraulic. Oh god, now we got hydraulics? Why would you do this to me, game? Drag the hydraulic arrows to 50% expansion? What? How do I do that? Uh, oh. Well, where's expansion? It just, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. This is, like, like I said, it's coloring by numbers when it comes to, like, building the bridge, and then it's, like, hydraulics for dummies. <laughs> Double click the indicated static joint to create a split joint. What the fuck? You are not speaking English. You can't be. None of this makes sense to me. Zoom in on a split joint with your mouse wheel. Okay. Click each of the highlighted circles to match green side two. What? Uh, da da. Okay, I guess I did it. 
I don't remember it being this complicated, but then again, I wasn't really paying attention back then either. Did that work? Don't we have to do it on the other side? I don't know. My sudden need for symmetry is like, I don't know. I, I suddenly need everything to be symmetrical. Ooh, is that gonna work? Okay, cool. Oh, it's like an old fashioned fairy. Like one of the steamboats, like Steamboat Willie. If you guys remember that super old cartoon that's even before my time. <laughs> I love his little moped. I love his little bike. I wanted one of those so bad when I was a kid. My parents are like, what kind of car do you want to get when you're older? And I was like, I don't want to, I don't want a car. I want one of those little scooters. I want one of those like little mopeds or like a motorcycle. And my parents were like, oh God. <laughs> Even from the get go, they knew I was going to be a handful. Sometimes materials and budget are limited. So you must build a ramp to jump the target flag. Select wood as shown or press the two key. This is not going to work. If this works, I will, I don't know. I'll do the hot pepper challenge. I don't know why, but this game is making me feel slightly nostalgic. Like now I just want to go watch like hot pepper challenges and like the cinnamon challenge. Oh my God, there was a cinnamon challenge a long time ago in the same galaxy, but it still feels so far away. Okay, let's test this bad boy. Oh no, it didn't work. I guess I won't be eating hot peppers. <laughs> I still murdered a man. He's still, like, apparently just plunged into his death. <laughs> like, that's the other funny thing, too. Can we just, like, redo that? I know you want me to fix it, but I just... No, let me let me play the simulation. I just want to see him, like, launch himself off and be like, I regret nothing, and then just, like, fall into the river. Okay, fine. No unnecessary death. Only death that helps me progress as a person and as a character. You may undo your last section via the undo button by pressing the Z key. Okay. Oh. That's not where you told me to put it, though. Can I put another rope here? No? Okay, fine. This is a very controlled situation. Go, Hillbilly Knievel! Yeah! Tutorial complete. Congratulations, you've completed the tutorial. Just a few more things. A comprehensive, comprehensive manual. Um, blah, 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 blah. That's all I see on the screen. Okay. Simple bridge. It's not going to be so simple if I get to do it. Is this going to work if... I oh, stop doing that. I keep forgetting that I have to, like, click the circle once I'm done with it. But is this going to work if I have, like, a joint in between them? I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. I try to make it as, like, I don't know, sturdy as I could, like, think of. So hopefully this will work. Hey, it worked! Oh my gosh! Baby's first bridge! I'm so happy! <laughs> I don't care about leaderboards, please. I know I'm not gonna beat any of those. I'm just happy that I got people to cross the bridge alive. Oh my god, this is awesome! I feel accomplished! Okay, so we're gonna build a bridge. There we go. Obviously, that's what the whole point of this game is. But then we're gonna get some wood. Then we're gonna go like... that. And then, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. And then you go like that. And then you stop there. That's kind of annoying that you have to go back and click. There we go. Um, and we don't have any, like, things on the side here. So we can't go like that. Can we do, like, an arch bridge like we did last time? Okay, keep your fingers crossed that this works. Also, sorry I'm not talking much while I build the bridge. It's a lot of concentration. But apparently it pays off. Oh, there's a little cow now, and there's a bunch of sheepies. Oh my goodness, I just love the animals in this game, and I love how they just sit there. They just chill. They're like, hey, look at those humans going across the bridge that just spontaneously came out of nowhere. That's pretty neat. You know what I like? I like to see the bridges that, like, um, people have started making that are, like, animal-friendly. So they're, like, bridges that go through hills. Or not bridges, but they're like passages for like cars that go through hills and then the animals like cross on the top of the hill while the cars go underneath the hill. It's super cool. Like, I don't know. Because I live... Ugh, no. I live more towards central Florida, but there's also like some areas that aren't completely uh, built, I guess. They're not like, you know, it's not like downtown or anything like that. There's still some areas you, uh, you can go to and like see deer and stuff like that. So, like, it's always heartbreaking when you, like, go down the road and then you see, like, a bunch of, uh, like, accidents, I guess. Not accidents, but you see a bunch of, like, animals that got hit by cars. Like, it always, like, 
churns my stomach a small bit. Okay, we're gonna redo all of this. Um, so yeah, how do you do that again? Right click, yeah, and then D, okay. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cool that like, now people are starting to create roads that are more animal friendly, I guess. So, it's nice. I have to admit, this is a creepy ass looking bridge. <laughs> Like, the more I look at it, the more it looks like salad fingers. If you guys remember salad fingers, it looks like a salad finger bridge. That's what I'm going to name it. It's the salad finger bridge. Oh my god, it looks so creepy. Like, I was like, yeah, we'll just, you know, keep the triangle theme going. And then, like, I looked at it and I was just like, oh no. <laughs> that is not how triangles look. Because they just slightly, ever so slightly, like, bend out. And it looks like finger joints to me then. I don't know. It's creepy. But I kind of want to keep it. I don't know. I guess we'll see if I, I'm going to regret that in a second here. No, I'm over budget. God dang it. I don't want to get rid of the salad fingers on the bottom though. Oh, god dang it. Uh, what if we like make these slightly smaller? God freaking dang it. I'm literally over by the smallest of margins. Fuck it, I'll change it in a second. I just want to see if the salad finger bridge works. Nope. <laughs> Much like actual salad, it has no strength to it whatsoever. It's just flimsy as all get out. Oh my god, that did not work at all. Because I was like, okay, I can understand if like this doesn't work, if the bottom part doesn't work. But not even like the top worked. Like not even this part worked in the slightest. Oh god dang it, what am I supposed to do then? I don't know. Oh, good Gandhi. Okay, this is slightly better. Cause I was like, I was trying to figure out how I could get like th this part to like do the Y shape. I think I'm like, I don't know. I think I'm relying too much on the whole triangle uh, formula or whatever you want to call it. I'm relying way too much on triangles, but let's see if it works out. Let's see if triangles are all we need in life to make this happen. Oh, it's looking promising. It's looking like a thing that might happen. I think we did it guys. Yeah. Heck yeah, still don't care about the leaderboards. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. This was Polybridge. If you guys want to check out the game, I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, this was a lot of fun, and I have like a newfound respect for uh, engineers and people who build bridges, because like, I don't know, that was why I was quiet for the most part when I was building the bridges. There wasn't a lot of commentary going on when I was like trying to figure out how I wanted the bridges to be built, because it was a lot of problem solving and like thinking things through. So I was hardcore concentrating on that, so I just wanted to show like after I was done whether or not it worked, and if it didn't work then we would go back and fix it. But it's super relaxing, it's a lot of fun, the music really helps too, the music is very chilled out, like I, I don't know, it sounds like mall music to me, but in a good way. Like it has that kind of like relaxed vibe to it, so you don't feel rushed, you don't feel stressed, even though you're working on a budget and making a bridge that you know people are relying on to carefully and safely get them across, you know, rivers and stuff like that and make sure they don't fall in and drown. So on that more tense note, <laughs> on that more serious note, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. But yeah, this was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, I do want to thank you all for watching and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!